Hey developer and welcome to another Upcode World video. Optimization tools are often one of the first kind of applications that we write as developers on the desktop.net environment. One of those common tasks to optimize computers is just to simply delete information that we won't need anymore, namely the one on the RESQL bind. We will explain you briefly how to empty the RESQL bin with the help of the native method shemptyresqlbin exposed on the shell32 dynamic link library of Windows. The shemptyresqlbin method deletes the content of the recycle bin, displaying dialog boxes as desired. The function can empty the recycle bin of a particular drive or it can empty all recycle bins as a wall. To get started, we'll assume that you have already a basic C-sharp based WinForms application running. Add a new button to the project and proceed to import the Interoperation Services class. This will allow you to import the sh empty recycle bin function from the shell32 DLL. Before importing, you need to create an enum value type with the identifiers of the possible flags of the method that we'll import. The imported method expects three parameters. The first one is the handle to the window calling the function. This window will be the owner of any dialog boxes that the function uses. A second argument, a path belonging to the drive to empty the recycle bin off. This doesn't have to be the root path. To empty all recycle bins as a wall, set this to an empty string. A third argument, a combination of zero or more of the following flags specifying additional options. Now on the click listener of the button that we created, create a try and catch block and proceed to run the sh empty recycle bin function as you want. We will handle the process with some confirmation dialogs as well. Finally, run the application and open in a new window your recycle bin instance to see how the content disappears with our application within seconds. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our codeworld.com for more awesome content about software development. Until next time.